found this bag that I really love. I really love the history of the bag. And of course, just like I did my Chanel unboxing, you will now also know the history of this bag. Okay? Let me um, actually just show y'all what I got. Okay, what's up y'all? It's your girl Casey, and I'm back again with another video. Um, this is actually a Gucci unboxing. So I actually got this bag while I was in Paris. I know I did the most because I could have probably got this bag here, but I didn't. Um, so I only got one thing from that really nice mall that I showed y'all in my Paris vlog. This is where I got this bag from. Yeah, that's this is where I got the bag from. Okay, and it, I'll tell you the price tag later. Cat. Okay, so let's just get into it because we just gonna leave Cat over here. So my bag is a little on the misshape side because um, it went through customs. So yeah. Uh, this is her. And I think I'm gonna call her D or Diane. I, I may call her D. Anyway, so this is what I got. The box is just so cute. The way they do the little bow, it's just so cute to me. So, yeah. Oh, and it just feels so good. So it actually comes in the duster, which is great. And here's the, the bag for the bag. And here is my Princess Diana bag. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at her! Look at her! She's so cute! I know, 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 okay. So, let's move all of this stuff out the way. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, here she is. This is the mini Princess Diana bag. And these straps are bamboo straps. And the reason why the um, straps are here is because um, it keeps the shape of the bamboo, okay? And I did get the, monoch the monochrome GGs um, that you see there. I actually was just gonna get the all white one, so it was gonna be like this same leather material here. But then when I saw this in Paris, they did not have one like this at my Gucci store. So yeah, um, here is the bag. And I actually got, I actually like the green strap. So at first I thought about getting the pink straps. Now, of course, these straps do come off. and you can replace them. I am gonna take mine to the Gucci store and get mine engraved in the back. Like right here, I'm gonna put my name on here or closing with Casey or something like in here. So I'm gonna probably either do that maybe tomorrow just because it's Labor Day weekend when I'm filming this. So I don't have anything else to do. So I may to, oh shoot. Or just the next time I have some free time. I don't know. I'm really not in a rush, but you can take them back and get them engraved. Just like you can at any like major retailer. So this is her and then she comes and then this is the inside. She comes with two straps and here are all her things. This is the first strap. It's just a long, like, plain strap that all these bags come with. Oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but anyway. And then it also comes with this strap as well. Now, if I ever wear this strap, then I'll probably take these straps off. 
but it's a great like over the shoulder bag you know but I just feel like if I did this and then this it's just too much but I would do this with this because it kind of blends in together and that's the pop of color um, but to my knowledge now I will confirm with the people when I go get these straps engraved if this strap comes in these bags in America okay I may just text my friend and ask her if she has one of these straps um, because the people in Paris tried to tell me that our bags in America don't come with this I will confirm and I will put this either I'm gonna take this part out of the video or I'm gonna put a disclaimer down here at the bottom somewhere okay so give me a few days to confirm and yeah so let's get into the history of hold on let's put everything back because we will not be moved okay so you love her let's get into the history of this bag okay the history on the princess diana or the gucci diana bag and this is coming directly from gucci.com so you can google this so the reason why they wanted to reinvent the bag is because Princess Diana, like rebelling against royal fashion dress code, is just trying to re-embody like freeing yourself, um, self-expression, and this bag for the small one. I'm gonna have to make sure I didn't get duped on this bag, but it was twenty-six hundred dollars for this bag. 2600 but baby let me tell you something I'm wearing this all winter you wanna know why because this is not a win this is not a summer white this is a this is a cream and I'm wearing this bag and I don't even too much care what y'all gotta say I can wear this with this outfit this is cute I love this bag and I love like how small it is because I never have enough items to fill a big bag so I'm extremely excited with the bag and I think I feel just as giddy as I thought I would and I just love fashionable pieces and I love fashion history and if my piece does not have a story like my Chanel bag has a story my Gucci bag has a story everything will have a story because that's how I feel fashion is fashion is a story so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to um, like comment and subscribe and I will see you in another video Okay, bye guys.